hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be making a um, heart garland or um, a heart photo backdrop it's kind of like those flower backdrops that you guys see in the stores or see on Instagram and some people's photos this is sort of part two to the video that I did on Tuesday when I um, made DIY heart wands so if you were looking to make kind of a, a Valentine's Day photo shoot for you know the last minute then definitely watch this video I did want to let you guys know that I accidentally didn't record some of the things that I was um, some of the steps to making the garland um, I thought I pressed record but apparently I didn't so there's a few videos that are missing but you can kind of get the gist of how to make everything um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that there is some missing footage I don't know how that happened but um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you're not already make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for every time that I do a new video um, I post a video on Tuesdays and Fridays every week so if you are interested in Cricut crafts um, sewing um, sublimation things like that definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. For this project you're going to need stiffened felt and some yarn or some string. You're going to need some kind of stick. I got my steak from Walmart. It's just a garage sign steak and possibly a glue gun. I didn't use one but you may need one and also painter's tape. If you watched my other video that I did right before this one, I use painter's tape on the Cricut mat when I'm using, when I'm cutting felt. Um, and that kind of helps to stabilize the felt even more so that it doesn't move around when the Cricut is cutting it. I am cutting out 24 hearts. I want four hearts on each string and I'm cutting out six pieces of string. Um, so that's how I came up with 24. You can cut out as many as you'd like depending on how long you want your string, how many uh, pieces of string that you want hanging, and how full you want it to be. I do regret not using more hearts per string because I feel like it wasn't as full as I'd like or maybe I could have used um, instead of six string maybe maybe ten pieces of string and maybe that would have looked a little bit better but if I were you I would just play around with your garland just to see what measurements and how many pieces of string and how many hearts works for you and what you'd like to do with your project. I got my felt from Hobby Lobby and it happens to have a sticky backing on it which is why I didn't end up using the glue gun um, but you may have to use the glue gun if yours doesn't have that sticky backing on it. The settings that I used on the Cricut cutter were the felt wool bonded and I used the default setting but as you can see I still have a little bit that I have to cut out. I did try the more pressure setting instead of the default setting but I still had to cut out that tiny little bit so it could just be that my blade needs to be switched out.
next I'm going to be using the white felt and I'm going to cut out 24 circles and the measurements of the circles are one and a half inches and I'm just going to cut these out to put on the back of my hearts just so that um, it is stabilized on the string. I actually, if I could go back to do it again, I would cut out double the amount of hearts and I would put the same color heart on the back so that if the string turns on the garland when you hang it, it is the same color on both sides. Um, but I wasn't thinking about that when I was doing this project, but you could do it either way. You could do it the way that I'm doing it, putting the circles on the back, or you could just cut out double the amount of hearts and put the same color heart on each side so that it is double sided and that no matter which way it's facing you still have the hearts showing. As I said in the intro some of my videos did not record like I thought they did so um, what I did for the string is I cut the string four feet six inches um, I want my string the string that is hanging to be four feet and I left the extra six inches just to tie just so I would have enough room to tie it on the stick that I had As I was putting the felt circles on the back of the heart, I realized that um, without having anything else on it, the heart was too sticky. So I decided to put the sticker backing back on the hearts so that the hearts weren't sticking everywhere. stick that I'm using is just a wooden stake that you can get from Walmart where they have all of the for sale and garage sale signs. Um, you can saw off that little point there. Um, I'm not going to do that for this project but usually when I'm using these things I do um, just use a small hand saw and just take that little point 
part off the end. Um, I also recommend that you sand this before you start working with it. I didn't sand it um, because I was trying to do this in a bit of a hurry, but I do regret not sanding it. Um, there was a couple times I did get um, a couple of pieces of wood stuck in my hands. So absolutely sand this first before you do this project. You can also use anything as a stick, but this was what I had on hand from another project, so I went ahead and used this. So this is how it looks finished. It actually makes the perfect little photo backdrop and it goes perfectly with the wands that we made in the last video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.